Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope you guys are having a beautiful Monday, September 17th. Alright. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in that order. Alright, Taurus. You guys have the Prince of Wands in reverse. Virgo, the Five of Wands, and Capricorn, the Princess of Cups in reverse. Um, yeah, your bottom of the deck is the world completing uh, cycles uh, clarified by the Four of Swords in reverse on one side, the Hierophant on the other side. Damn. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. All right. So, um, Taurus, you guys have the Prince of Wands. Um, you're hoping that uh, somebody's going to decide not to move away from you. Move. Uh... Oops. Yeah, let's see here. You guys are um, are coming to an end of a cycle. Uh with a, yeah, you guys are coming to the end of a cycle. A relationship is ending here with the uh, Hierophant reverse. That's marriage commitment um, coming to an end. This was meant to happen. This was meant to close out. This is for all three of you signs. Uh, this relationship was not meant to, uh, or this commitment, I shouldn't say relationship. It could be job to um, anything you're committed to, anything that has a contractual agreement, um, this cycle was meant to come to an end. Uh, and by end, I don't necessarily mean like being over breaking up, uh, ending a job. It just, it's meant to come. This cycle is over. Whatever you're going through right now is over. Um, or it will be, um, you need some time to heal from this, to heal from the ending of this relationship or to heal from, um, the heartache, the, uh, this cycle has put you guys through the ringer. Um, Taurus, you guys are hoping uh, that your person's going to change your mind. I see they're moving towards a fire sign um, with the Prince of Wands. That's a uh, Sagittarius. Um, Taurus males. Uh, Taurus males, you're going to open up communication with your partner um, and express how you truly feel how you don't want them to move away, how you don't want them to move forward without you, that um, you can put that behind you and um, put everything that has been behind you and move forward. Uh, yeah, you're trying to keep this from ending. You have the world in reverse. Yeah, they're thinking with their mind. They're thinking, uh, especially if you have air in your chart, they're not really letting their heart come to the forefront. They are, um, they are wanting to move forward and you are trying to talk them into staying. I do, uh, see for this group of you, um, that they're going to continue, um, to, to try to work this out with you for this group of you. For, uh, Taurus females, you are a part of a third party, whether you are the spouse or the third party. Um, but that's coming to an end with it in the reverse. Uh, yeah, um, it's time for change with the wheel of fortune. You know, it is the ebb and flow and ever changing energy of, um, moving on, moving forward, whether it be with your partner or not. Um, I'm not saying anything's ending between the two of you, but something, there is no longer a third energy. So whether that be your energy is, is leaving or someone else's energy is leaving, but, um, it is going to, time is going to move, um, that energy away from you. And, um, yeah, and it's going to allow you to complete this cycle. Uh, for some of you, you are getting out of a marriage and you're going to have to have time to heal. You're going to have to have time to um, get over this heartache. For you, Virgos, you have a lot of internal conflicts about whether or not to uh, to walk away from this contractual agreement you had. 
And it's, it's asking you to take a step back to look at um, things from all perspectives and and eliminate all outside competition so that you can allow the cycle um, to come to a completion point and have a new beginning um, with whatever this is dealing with. Virgo men. Virgo female. Okay, so uh, you Virgo um, men, you have a lot of guilt, a lot of uh, things going on in your mind about what happened with another earth sign female, um, most more than likely Taurus because it's the queen of pentacles. Um, but there was a lot of betrayal, a lot of things done behind um, your back, their back, um, and it caused a lot of conflict within your own um, self, whether or not to give up on this Taurus energy or not. Um, because there was a lot of things that were done, a lot of things that were said, a lot of sneaking. Um, and it just caused a lot of fighting at home as well. I do see uh, you allowing this cycle to complete in this uh, contractual agreement, whatever it is. Um, I do see you uh, uh, that coming to an end with the Ten of Swords here as well. But uh, you need to take some rest. You need to take some time to heal uh, after you after you walk away from whatever um, situation that this is. Our Virgo females, you have the lovers in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse clarifying your um, conflict. You guys, uh, you decided to not pick the person that you always had to defend yourself with. A lot of fighting a lot of arguing, always defending yourself, your point, and you are never doing anything wrong. You, um, you are choosing to leave somebody and allow the cycle to come to an end as well. You are getting out of a contractual agreement with somebody. Capricorns, you have the princess of cup. You guys um, could be dealing with a water sign, but um, you guys are just drained. You're emotionally drained over um, the cycle that you're coming out of. Capricorn males. Capricorn female. Thank you. Uh, so our Capricorn uh, males. Yeah, you're dealing with karma. Uh, this is judgment and strength. So um, somebody uh, could have been trying to make you think things that weren't actually going on, living in an illusion. Um, they were trying to convince you that they could be the perfect match for you, the perfect one. Um, and they could have made you think that they were a lot better off than what they were. And all you got was emotionally drained. Um, have the strength, get through this. Take this time of healing for you Capricorn males because you're dealing with karma um, or judgment. And this relationship is going to um, come back together uh, in the future. It may end right now. Um, but it's calling for you to heal, to take the time to, um, gather your strength, the courage and, uh, and look at things from all perspective because the karma card in this deck is judgment and it's in the upright. So this relationship will come back to around to you. If you, it's something that you're wanting to pursue Capricorn females, you guys have the hanged man. So you're in a time of wait right now. You are taking this time to rest. You're about ready to come out of this time. Um, you let this cycle complete. You let this, um, relationship come to an end. And in this time of healing, you have taken the time or in this time of waiting, you have taken the time to heal. This is a card of self healing for me. You're also being enlightened that this relationship isn't really going to give you, um, all that was promised to you. So, okay. What can our earth signs expect for Monday the 6th? Okay. So uh, the first card out was stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and um, faith will bring you romance. So um always think positive, uh, do your positive affirmations. Um, because what we think we create, if you, if you think negative, you're going to create 
that if you think positive, that's what's going to come in for you. So stay optimistic about your love life. Um, a lot of you have uh, somebody new coming in and, um, and when you least expect it. Pay attention to the red flags. This, uh, the signs are cautioning you. There could be someone in your energy and your space that is um, trying to do something behind your back. Sneaky behavior. Um, it, they might not be exactly who they say they are for some of you, especially Capricorn. Um, they, they could not be who they say they are. Um, but all three of your signs, make sure you're paying attention to the small things. Someone's trying to either get something out of you or they're trying to manipulate the situation to their benefit and attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment freely. So, um, don't put too much weight on everything. Life doesn't always have to be so heavy. Enjoy yourself. Um, enjoy the little things every moment. Don't worry about yesterday or tomorrow. Um, and you guys will attract love towards you. So I hope you guys have a great Monday. As always, I want to thank you for joining me on my channel and I will see you tomorrow.